welcome back to Block TV. This is Guinea Pigs, where every week we try out the best games, apps, and more in the cryptosphere. Today we have a very special one for you, the latest and newly announced Satoshi's Treasure, which is a treasure hunt for about $1 million worth of Bitcoin to the winner who finds all the clues. And we realized that we needed some help here in the game, so that's why we called up the doctor himself, Dr. Lionel Wahlberger. Thanks for joining us. Good to be here. All right, great to have you. Well, um, as you may know, the, the game has been sent out through a cryptic message broadcasted on the blockchain satellite stream. That was on April, April 13th, where pretty much they're going to keep on putting out different clues around the world. And the person who gets the f at least 400 clues um, is able to put together and win the million dollars. So um, as part of that announcement, um, they made sure to say a little bit of how this worked. Um, what they said was, what you're reading is the first clue in the grand hunt. It's not the first hunt, nor, of course, will it be the last. Um, they also went on to mention a little bit of how it works in terms of using something called the Samir splitting or secret sharing. So maybe you could let us in a little bit about how some of that works. Yeah, Professor Adi Shamir uh, is here in Israel at the Weizmann Institute, and he's a significant figure in cryptography. I had the privilege of working with him for many years. Uh, the story is uh, his cryptography, when Rupert Murdoch wanted to work with him, he said, I'll buy the uh, place that you are. And, and Shamir said the Weizmann Institute is not for sale. So Shamir invented many of the cryptographic tricks that we use, and this particular treasure hunt is using his secret sharing. So uh, I can illustrate it by showing you a big number here on my screen. What you're going to see here, let's say I have a number, because keys, cryptographic keys are really big numbers, right? So let's say we have a number of like 1897, this number that I'm showing you here. Right. If I, if, if I just cut this up into pieces of paper and put one in one place and eight in another place, then if you find, if you can't find the one, you have a million guesses to make, right? But if you found most of these numbers, you just have left this three, you have nine guesses to make, and that's very little, so you could guess it very quickly. Shamir instead invented a different way of dividing up a secret. It uses a, a graph like you used in high school and the idea of lines. On any point, you can put any number of lines through it, right? So basically, the secrets that you'll find will be one dot, and somebody else will find the secret, which is another dot, and it's only when you have both that you can determine the line and determine the secret. And that example I showed you is, uh, of course, just with two dots. But clearly, this secret has hundreds of dots. In fact, I think it's 397. Wow. All right. So, what, so basically, what they've been able to do here is use uh, a computational and mathematical way of doing a worldwide scavenger hunt where they could pretty much split up the keys and not keep them in their hands, but kind of a decentralized the scavenger hunt, if you would. Yeah, it's amazing. And so it'll be very exciting. I'm already looking for the first three keys. They gave the geospatial coordinates, which is also really fun because it draws our attention to outer space, which is always very exciting. And when we find those three hints, then we'll have three more and three more. And we'll need all complete set in order to build that key that will unlock a million dollars. Right. So for those viewers who haven't seen the clues, uh, the first clue will be released in four different locations. It's called the Jade Key today at 12 p.m. local time. The locations including San Francisco, New York, Cambridge, and as well as, uh, I already said San Francisco, yeah. So, um, and LA will be the last one. So how do you think exactly they'll go about this? You know, what do you think, you think it will be, this clue will be a physical clue at those locations? If so, how do you think they're gonna work that out? Oh, I think they'll use all the cleverness and tricks that we love from gaming, you know. So I think some clues will just be a simple number. They actually promise to ramp up the difficulty with time, which makes it even more fun. And sometimes I think you'll have to calculate the number. Sometimes it'll be uh, difficult hints. Uh, but that, in the end, is the, is the goal, to collect all those numbers and then put them together with the right formula. Right, right. And how many numbers, how many clues are needed in order to crack the code or unlock the money? I was looking at it before. I think it's 397 or 396, if I'm not mistaken. It's interesting why it's not 400 round. Uh, maybe they intended it to be 400, but somehow when they took, came to their implementation, they missed one. You know, it's fun to see Satoshi and Shamir's name come up. Uh, Shamir is not a name well known in the crypto community, but as I mentioned before, we have him to thank for all of it. 
because he was the one who discovered this idea of public and private keys. Uh, he's the S in RSA, if you've heard of RSA. Mm -hmm. Whenever you buy something on Amazon, you get that little padlock. That's Shamir. So I'm getting a little bit of uh, uh, fun out of this, that Shamir's name is getting out there along with Satoshi, both names that are uh, that we really honor in the cryptographic space. Mm -hmm. And how do you, and, and uh, well, for clues like this, where they are geographically based, you know, you obviously can't be in every location. How could people, you know, like you or people at home, how could they take part in this clue if they're not able to physically get there? Well, we don't know yet, do we? I mean, they're hinting that they put some physical clues in places and like the million dollar race, we're all going to jump into cars, boats, planes and ships. Or uh, we might have to put a task rabbit task and find somebody nearby. I have a feeling there will be physical clues in physical places. This is going to be a lot of fun. Mm. Do you plan on doing the solo or teaming up uh, to increase your chances? Of, of course I'm going to do it. I already have the first three clues, maybe. But do you plan on teaming up uh, you know, with others to increase your chances, or do you want to see if you could do this solo? Uh, I, it, it always works better in a team. Uh, I've had the privilege to work with some uh, amazing people, and frankly, I'm, I'm never the cleverest guy. So i got to team up with somebody who can think in those really devious ways. You know, Like when you do an escape room, I can help out. I get out of a few rooms. But I'm not the one who figures out that you have to both turn the dial and push the button at the same time while putting your foot on the door. Right. Well, I mean, listen, I would love to have you on my team if I could. I mean, you're the doctor, of course. Um, but listen, we're, we're all very excited about this game. We're all very excited to see how the clues will unfold. We'll definitely be checking back with you as they do unfold. Maybe you could help us out, crack them on air. And for all of us viewers, make sure to check us back here and keep track to see uh, as the scavenger hunt goes by. Thank you very much, Dr. Lionel, for joining us. And make sure to check us out on all our social media, Telegram, Facebook, Twitter, and more.